All right, everybody, welcome to MTG Dungeon. Today's matchup is Jund versus Affinity, and we're here today with the guest commentator, Mike. Woot. So, I feel like, like, all right, so, I mean, in any match with Affinity, I feel like Affinity always game one. It's usually, like, uh, 65, 35 advantage. Not, not, not against Jund. <laughs> like, I mean, Jund is, if Jund is probably close to, like, 55, 45. I, th I still think game one, though, Affinity has the advantage. It's games two and three where Jund then gets the advantage. It, it, it really just depends. Does Affinity go first? And in That's this true. case, uh, it does not. Yep. And uh, Inquisition turns to be a good card. And so it's Thoughtseize. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I don't know what Liam's doing. Oh. Uh. What's happening? I don't think Liam unsideboarded from the last game. Oops. Oh. Uh, well, that is unfortunate. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Liam, good job. All right. You pulled a Sam. That's how. I mean, I won a game against Affinity that way. I mean, <laughs> so. Wow, man! Game two. Right, I was like, man, <laughs> Affinity one, negative, turn, negative turn one. <laughs> nice, ban, ban Mox Opal. Just ban it. Too good. Uh, what is that? A hazard? In Affinity in the main board? Uh, I didn't see it. I'm sorry. I, I'm I'm pretty sure that was a hazard in the main. What what? The, I, I what? don't know. He might be trying to fun of. I, I mean. That's that's yeah, yeah. okay. I mean, I, I guess <laughs> I feel like four mana might be a little much for the affinity. I can tell Liam is a little pissed at himself here, <laughs> but I mean that just it happens. It's whatever. Uh, and now he's bringing in some of those cards that were already in his deck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you know, more copies of bringing damnation. Mm -hmm. you, so, uh, so his version plays Damnation as a one of. Yeah, he's playing. Oh. I think I don't well, know if he. Well, at, at this point, right? To be fair, like now, now we can just play game two. Like, okay, like yeah. I'm already sideboarded this right. place. <laughs> that would have been great. <laughs> it's just like, right. Hey, let's. Uh... As John, that you have to be careful in the second game because Affinity is very well known for playing Blood. Oh, there's Blood Moon. Uh -huh. uh, for playing Blood Moon, so. He has to fetch out his basics and yeah, hopefully not get caught out by it. Yeah. Well, so. I feel I feel like Jund, if you have a basic force and basic swamp, you're set for Looks most like, of your deck. What is it? Damnation, anger, uh, ancient grudges, ancient grudges, and kitchen finks. Yeah. yeah. I think I think those are all fine choices. Yep. Say, yeah, Bringing out those blood braids because they're too high converted mana cost. Yeah. Yep. Yep. That's right. He right. <laughs> All right. And then I saw uh, Greg. He's yeah. uh, he did. He's still contemplating here. I, f I feel like Affinity <clears throat> is almost one of the hardest ones. To, it is a hazard. Rate. What do you do? All right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I feel like Affinity is a very hard deck to sideboard with because, like, your deck is already just so tightly knit yeah. on things that you need it's hard to drop it, copies of certain things it usually like against this i just saw him put down a master of Therium, and that's right yeah i was you bring i mean it's a kill it's just boom dead <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I, you bring in mass uh, uh well, as champion as champion i also think you bring in welding jars if you were on the sideboard yep, yep 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 so uh because john doesn't have exile effects so well i mean you you do out of the sideboard with like the spell bombs yeah. and maybe surgicals if you play them, but his, again, his list, I don't. I don't think you bring him in against this match. In his list, I think you take out Hazard. Nah, because you kind of want Hazard when you have no cards, and it's kind of a last ditch up. I mean, it's it's a one of kind of thing as well. Yeah. I mean, yeah. And again, like also because Hazard is indestructible. Um, yeah. Then yeah, John, yeah. John doesn't, right. does doesn't deal well with that. I was wrong. That was a bad train of thought there. Oh no! I mean. The thing is that, you know, it helps, because if you have different trains of thought, like, pointing out things, yeah. it just makes us all better. I mean, I just don't like it in the 75 in general, but that's just me. Yeah, it's... Uh, it's He's trying it. Why yeah. not? 
And to us, I, 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 I agree with you. I don't like the seventy five either. But I mean, like, if I just run Tezzeret Agent of Bolas at that point. Oh uh, well, all right, because well, because Tezzeret is is double colors as opposed to having is only one, and you can also fling cards like your dead yeah. cards with Tezzeret. True. Um, but I say like, like I feel like four mana is just a little much for Affinity. Yeah. Like. Uh, I mean, c- consist- consistency wise. I mean, Hazard is good for the long game, which I guess if you're going against Jund, you're you're planning on going to the long game because you have to fear things like K Command, yep. Ancient Grudge, uh, Fatal Pushes, Bolts, like, uh, Bolts, Corrupt Decays. Like, you're probably gonna have Ooh, very bad to go cool. away. Uh, yeah, uh, man, Liam, you're just getting shrekt in this one. <laughs> Greg, just you just, I guess you just looked at Greg and was like, yeah, I just can't beat that. Greg's just too. <laughs> Too amazing here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, looks like Lily Bolt land lands. Yep, perfect. And push. Push. Yep, 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 I mean yep. that seems pretty good. <sighs> I think that's an ancient grudge too. No, nope, that's anger. Yep. yep that's anger. Uh, all right, let's see. See if Liam plays like a bad player. No, nope, that's an up. ancient grudge. That's an ancient grudge. That's which pretty is good. Better. Uh, if Liam's gonna play the lands up front again. <sighs> this kid. I know. Liam, I'm gonna start bringing a cattle prod, <laughs> <laughs> and every time you put the lands up front on camera, you're gonna get prodded. I mean, the only time that's okay is when you're playing Scape Shift, and that's because that's the only permanent that matters. <laughs> I'm actually, I, I or tell control. Him, I, I, I tell him at least put it to the side. Uh, looks like yeah, integrating one of them. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure it's a green source in hand. So, or you can Lily Sack just to be a real <laughs> what. Oh, okay, you have a fatal push in hand, I guess. Yeah. It's fine. But just And he has the... Uh, oh, I mean... Yeah. No, he doesn't have a green source up. Well, he could have. I mean, yeah. Could, yeah. I mean, I, I get it. You're just going gonna to fatal push to Scourge or one of his lands. I mean, I don't think you care about that as much. I don't, I don't think currently... You want... Yeah, I don't think you currently do You want whatever he's playing. So, yep, yeah. that's exactly what he wants. Push that. Yep. What? So... With with the Lily and the uh, oh, Camille from Pulse to say non land. Well, there's no other. Where where else is Affin- uh, Arcbound Ravager going to put it? Well, it's I, w- I think I would have killed the Arcbound and then uh, like you can sack four stack with Lily or you just bring back Ancient Grudge. True. Um, Actually, I think you're right because I would have let it sit and then. Yeah. I mean, either way, he has a permanent with no Liam was right. Liam was right, because if he did it your way, he would have had a 2-2 uh, lifelink Fault Scourge on the board. Well, no, because you still have the Ancient Grudge out of the graveyard you can play, or the Maelstrom pulls it. Just gonna, as, as said, like, he, he, but he, he didn't have the land untapped. So, no, but I'm saying, like, he, he, so, Greg casts the Archbound Ravenger, you let it resolve, kill the Ravenger, force him to put the counters on the Scourge, and you can flashback Ancient Grudge or... Like I mean, you probably flashback Ancient Grudge so he has the two man lands he can sack the Lily, but I'm pretty sure that you just Ancient Grudge it. He's now just stuck on lands. Why did the land go? Uh, because he made him sacrifice a creature, so he activated the land. Oh, as oh, a creature yeah, 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 you got it, got it, got it. Your lines of play are terrible, sir. <laughs> See, right now that he has like an overseer. Now it's, I mean, well, you do have a K command. It's pretty good. It's a pretty good top draw. <laughs> so. All right, so two damage and then blow up the Ravenger. So at that point, you're only... So you destroy the... Uh... Well, you destroy the Ravenger deal. Well, I mean, like it doesn't matter either way because you can... He's, he's going to sack the artifacts and put them to the Infect. And I think the only way you lose after that is... Cra- like cranial. Well, he has Ancient Grudge and... Right, it's, yeah, it's, it's a Cranial Blade, right, right, yeah. So. There's no so, way he could really. Yeah, which well, so I, I, I think Liam would be in a much better position if he if he had just fatal push the Archbound Ravenger. If you forced him yeah. to put it on the Vault Scourge and you enter the Vault Scourge, then you still have Cake Man, Lily, and whatnot just to take over the game. Yeah. But I mean, we'll we'll see if it really matters. That's. A, I oh, think the Overseer is more of a threat. Well, Archbound Ravenger is really really dumb. I was yeah, I was saying, but yeah. You gotta answer that instantly, or else it's just game over. Yeah, because you, you know, if you try and kill something, they just move. All the Here, things. Liam's hoping for a land, and then so he can do Maelstrom okay. Pulse. Into, why? Uh, why does the infect? Well, no. I said, why does it have two counters? You should only have one. Uh, Archbound Ravenger sacked. Put a counter on that. No, put the counter. You put the counter on the Overseer. 
No, I put it on the. Uh, you hit because uh, he has done two damage to the worst here, so the counter damage here to save it. Yeah. So I don't know why I don't know why it has two counters. Is what I'm saying. It's unless Greg represent just... unless Greg is representing the power. Yeah. Which that's that would be really confusing and that would annoy me. But uh, it's champion. <laughs> yeah. So now you go fatal push. Oh, no more artifacts. I would have. I feel like it. Oh. I feel like you should have Ooh, bolted you, there. You, oh, that's just, great. And then is. you bolt that. Oh, yeah, that's that's a dream situation. Yeah, for John, right there. Um, the problem is that you still have to worry about the infect. Oh, you don't care. Uh, I mean, when you're at well, when you're on a four turn time clock, one card in hand, you kind of have to care because when the pulse isn't going to do much. Yep. I think I I, th I feel like you have to pulse the. Vault Scourge. <laughs> I would wait. Yeah. Oh, so yeah, they, they just, they fixed the correction. Alright, so yeah, because Ink Moth should only have one, not the two. I think it was just, uh, they misplaced the dice or breakers were representing power, which then confused. But they were doing the so, yeah, so, yeah, I see that then, and they're just double checking to make sure that everything was all right. Okay. So I thought that was a little weird too, but it's like, alright, so. Yeah. I didn't notice the counter on that one. I, I, I thought it was weird I had two because I was like yeah. there's only one activation with the Ravenger like it moved the counters to the Overseer so thank god that's not a uh... right, I'm saying like see now Liam's on Liam's on a two turn clock and yeah Scooze Scooze doesn't help that yeah that doesn't help either uh, I mean well I see it, it doesn't I mean it doesn't up his clock any but See, I think if Liam, had, if, if, if Liam had done it the other way, I think he'd be in a much better position. <laughs> if he did it different, if he had just killed the Archive Ravager with a fatal push off the bat, he'd be in a much better position. Yeah. And you have to have a fatal or a bolt to kill. Ooh, Ancient Grudge, I think. That's what he drew. Uh, looks yeah. like it. So, I mean, that's, that's, that's literally what, oh, that's what he needed to draw. <clears throat> I mean, he's at eight though. I, he'll still be on a two-turn clock after the ancient grudge, unless he just kills the. No, uh, won't. Well, he's at eight infect. Yeah, he goes ancient grudge and killed the ancient. And what was it? But I, I think boom, Greg. Boom. I think I think Greg, Greg made a mistake of activating both. He should have only activated the one, swung in to try. Well, because if you activate the one, right? If Liam ancient grudges. Then well, you, you know just, it. You just save the ancient grudge at that point, right? But then it forces Liam to actually have to, have to keep mana up to do it. Yeah, I guess, yeah. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, I, I, I still think I think you play around because, like, he was at eight infects. Like, you literally, One, you, there was no point in swinging him with both. Yeah. For the game, like, I would have swung with the two two, force him to have it, and then you know he has it. So. And here comes the Scooze Train. Yep. God, with Calvin's game earlier. See, look, so, see, if if you're gonna play the right way, Greg drew a cranial plating. That could have like, right. all right, so it's like cranial plating equipped to the creature, you know, yeah. and then like you could have switched it over to. Well, we have a target for that maelstrom pulse now. Yeah. Maelstrom pulls target that, play yeah. the Tarmogoyf, swing for a buttload. <clears throat> Kaboom. Yep. Now, are you talking to You tar- Really? I don't know if I would have targeted... I think I would have just targeted the cranial plating, not the scoos itself. That's why. Oh, that's a broke decay. Yeah. Oh, it's abrupt to gain, not Tarmogoyf. Right, but I was going to say, I think I think I would target the plating and not the Vault Scourge. Yeah. One, two, three. Okay, so, so I, I think I think that's oh. Oh. all right. Sure, like let, let's just let's just win this top draw war, William. Wow. All right, that's John's. Yeah, I, I feel like John made a lot of play mistakes, but still ended up pulling it out. Like, what what? Oh, just he just wants to see something. Yeah, kind of. just looking at the graveyard. <clears throat> so I was, 
was like, well, should we go into game three? Like, I don't probably know. just learning. Yeah. Oh, man. The, so, yeah, Liam, Liam had some really good top draws to save him. Yep. And I, th- I think Greg definitely misplayed on that uh, double activation on the Infect Lance. I think he should have activated one. If he had to kill his police with the second one back up. And then, like, top drawing the cranial plating. Force them to either use an ancient grudge when you activate the land, or you switch it over to the other creature. I think you're right on the point where it doesn't up his clock at all uh, by activating the second one. Yeah. But and he should have just swung with one. But Liam still had the uh, ancient grudge. Right. And he had the mana to do everything. So I mean, it did. Right, but it I was saying like like wouldn't have changed at all. I I, it, I don't it, think it would have. It could have. If, what I'm saying is it could have because then like because then Greg knows he has the ancient grudge in the bin then you can force him to have to try and use it on other things because you, you can't maelstrom pulse or abrupt decay the man land so then you just try and go ham with the vault scourge force him to either use the things on that but the only threat would have been the infect because you have to kill it or else like it, it comes right. down to that <clears throat> well I, I think that that's what Greg should have forced him to yeah. do because like I said Liam, Liam got lucky on the top draws but like it, having the land and like having that land back and just having him having a lily trigger then doesn't affect you. Yeah. Like oh, you edict me? Okay, cool. I still have an infect creature that you still have to deal with. All right, game two. Game, game three. three. <laughs> right. I, it's game two. Come on. <laughs> I mean, is that a two lander or a one lander? Oh, it doesn't keep it. No, uh, man, I I don't know if any keeps that either. Maybe the only one two lander lands? that you can keep with John. Oh, what is what does he have? It looks like a, looks like an opal two land, maybe a zero drop. That that's not. Oh, okay, yeah, yes, Greg. We see a mox opal, okay. a land spell pierce. Thank you, Greg. Vault scourge. Oh, that's oh, that's that's, that's, that's a, okay. That's, that's a really beautiful. good hand. That's, that's beauty. Yeah. <clears throat> see, I actually like that they do that though, because I like knowing what it, what they start with. So we know what the plays are coming. Yeah, but it makes it a little difficult to also not show your opponent. Not really. I mean, you just go like this, and you just... <clears throat> so, uh, this is disgusting. Was that they literally drew like... the nuts. Oh, yeah, you get that. Oh, wow. Yep. <clears throat> <laughs> Yep, and then you go Master of Ethereum and or Master of Ethereum, the uh, Edge Champion. Champion, yeah. Win the game. Yep. Well, you play. You you, you siphon life for one. Yeah. Oh. Say, so, I mean, siphon life for one. <laughs> There's no way you don't play that. Yeah, this is looking bad for Liam. Yeah, it's looking real bad. I mean. Because he just goes I mean, so, cranial but, plating. I see, so cranial plating, but like uh, after I see the after I see the cranial plating, I would just extend. My, oh, he doesn't play it. No, he plays the double spring leaf drum. Yeah, I was like, yeah, was, I would have just played. Uh, I, guess. I, I mean, yeah, because like he only has one red up. He doesn't have a green up, so you, he can't ancient grow you. So yeah, I'm a little confused why Greg didn't uh, do it. Because now Greg only has one creature. Oh, there you go. There you go. See it again. A lot. <laughs> yeah. We're not going to do the well, math. I see, well, so we'll one, two. Nine. Jeez. Yeah, and then double checking the math. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, plus the two, which is nine. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so I mean. And Liam extends the hand. <laughs> well, I actually, no, I mean, Liam's still okay because he, he can. Uh, minus two, minus two, the object doctor gained two life and hope for a lily out. Yep. Like, yes, to, to talk to our lily and hope Greg doesn't get a creature. That's that's literally what we're at right now. Just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. So it. it's a two turn clock. Oh, so, I mean, it's still a two turn clock, but he has a second <laughs> creature. So I'm pretty sure Greg just wins because. Like you can't edict him either. Like the only you can't swing right now though. Why? Why can't Greg swing? Liam can't kill him. I can't kill him on the crackback. Because 
Because Gorge is an instant sorcery land creature. Artifact. Artifact. So five. Liam, where's your dice? So there's eight. What I'm saying, so there's eight, and then with the uh, uh, Rage of Ravine, there's twelve. Like Ugh. the this seems to be a blood braid into Liliana, or just straight Liliana, or, or else. But so it, I, mean, I don't think it even matters. I don't. I don't <coughs> think I think. Oh well, no, it gets great. So I expect the man land for the sack creature. I don't yeah. like Shatterstorm. Would be the only thing. Oh, there's, oh, there's blood braid. All right. So this is where, it's how lives. What? Why? Why? Have, I'm pretty sure you played blood, blood braid beforehand. I think Liam knows he's dead. There's no out. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. But so I think you play Blood Raider before him. I think if you, if you hit the bolt, you're actually pretty close to killing him. Yeah. But yeah I mean, you're too cool. short, yeah. It's still close. So. <laughs> it's not right. dead. So, I mean, Affinity in three. So. Yeah. Man, can you believe that guy just said that thing about that player? Ugh, I don't know. The worst, right? But don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on this video. Once we reach 100 subscribers, we will be giving away this handy dandy playmat. So, uh, you guys want to go ahead and subscribe and tell your friends to subscribe? That would be awesome. Thanks, guys.